this is a follow-up to my previous video that I did. In my previous video, I made a drawing and I was talking about art and um, that it's very subjective and just the things that were on my mind. And um, I made some more drawings Zen dangling. So I looked into it and I have to say I was pleasant surprised because Zen dangling is really really cool and I was already familiar with This was the last one that I made. Lines with black fineliner. 
I use really cheap fine liners from the dollar store. They were like $1.25. <laughs> the sketching book was also very cheap. I think maybe not more than $2. I know that for sure. So, I used the black fine liner to make all these lines first. Made a lot of lines. And in the beginning, I had no idea what this would be. How it would turn out. I had no clue. So, I just made all these different shapes. And here. And then this one. Just one long line all the way down. Split up over here. And, uh, yeah. Just did whatever felt good. Whatever came to mind. expression of my emotions, which I can't put into words, and the end result just felt right. <laughs> so, made some more lines over here, and then the amount of lines in this area on the top are a little bit more concentrated, as you can see. So, I started with this one, I started on the bottom of the drawing and I had it in front of me like this, like how you can see it but this is the bottom part and this is the top so I also drew a line over here so that I can cut it off and frame it if I would like to um, so yeah, I started with these and at first I started with black and white so I drew all these little figures that's what I started with and then bigger over here and then I colored it in pink entirely I made it with pink fine liners first and then I decided to put black on top of it so that's what you can see this is why this is still pink and then I made this part the purple part which looks like a purple zebra pattern to me or it reminds me of the desert you know how the sand can spread out and like create really nice shapes that's what it reminds me of and then I made this pink one which kind of reminds me in the beginning of like some sort of flesh eating pl plant <laughs> you know those little little plants that eat flesh that's what this reminded me of. Like it opened and closes. But then I added some purple dots and I started coloring in it like really bright uh, yellow. And then I started to add some lines to the top part as well with black, which almost looked like humans upside down. <laughs> All the way down. And then I made this one, which I also made with green fine liner first. I colored it with green. And then I made it with black or green fine liner first. And then I put a black fine liner on top of it. I don't know why I did that, but I, I just thought it looked better. So I think that this one, um, this one is like a spiral was the first one that I made, the one that I, uh, that turned out not, like, didn't turn out the greatest compared to the rest, I think, but what the heck, it's my first attempt, so I'm good with it. <laughs> um, so I made all these tiny little, almost like little wheels with different patterns, and uh, they remind me of wheels of a carriage, like a horse and carriage. That's what they remind me of, and it just adds a lot of dynamic to it. And then here I made like almond shaped thingies with red in the background and black fine liner all the way down. You can even feel it if you go over it. You can really feel the texture. So yeah, these are like uh, 
almost like eyes, but like, yeah, like almond slash leaf type of shapes with stripes in some of them. I skipped a few, like black striped, black striped, black striped, black striped, striped, black striped, black striped, black striped, black striped, black striped, striped. So I followed a pattern and it just came up with it along the way. Now this one, this um, like squares in them. Funny little interesting pattern with blue and green. So I drew it first with fine liner and then I colored it in. And then here is a little feather colored thingy <laughs> and then these these are really interesting they remind me of a reptile skin I put like a line so at first I drew the shape then I made an extra line in it and then I made all these tiny little lines <laughs> and I just continued the pattern I didn't make it wavy This reminds me a little bit of Christmas decoration. <laughs> the things that you can put in a tree, like swirl around it. Very interesting. And then this is, um, these are like supposed to be water drops. Different colors. Light blue and dark blue. And I drew them first and then I colored them in. So then we have this one. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but I find it interesting. First I started to draw from the left to the right, and then I drew from the right to the left until they met up over here. I put little dots in it. They kind of remind me of like animals in the... just, I don't know, like fish. They remind me of fish for some reason. but. Like I said in my last video, art is very objective, so you can see whatever you want to see in it. And then this one reminds me of, like, little donuts. <laughs> the big ones. The big ones have two lines, or three rather. The actual circle, a smaller circle inside, and then like a little dot. And the ones that were big enough decided to make them orange and the ones in the middle only have two circles so one circle and then a small circle in the middle this one I find really cool also the shape that it has is just I don't know I find it interesting <laughs> and then this one I decided to make with blue fine liner blue lines and it just gives a really nice look to it. There's not really a structure in it. There's a little bit of a, like an order in how I do it. Like this one looks like a triangle with all the lines like that. But this one, the lines come out of the corner. And then here, the lines come out of the corner too. So they're all different. And yet, it looks like a whole... So, while I was browsing the internet, I saw a really interesting shape, and that was these, these leaves, like the plant, the middle, and then you have all the leaves. I thought that was really cool. So I decided to make this one in color as well. First I thought I would make a black and white drawing, but it ended up to be one big outburst of colors, which I think is really cool. Um, so yeah, this is light green. And then on the outside, and in the middle you have the dark green, which gives it a nice contrast, I think. And then this one is also dark blue in 
in the middle and then there is this dark blue on the outside of the leaves too um, the shape is a lot different from these leaves than the ones up here I didn't really know what I was what I was making here so it just kind of happened <laughs> I really like these leaves. I think I'm going to make a drawing with just leaves, but then different colors. I think that would be really cool. And I really like this one, especially this green one, because it just looks um, very, well, it looks pretty symmetrical. And I like the colors a lot, so I think I will. I should make a drawing with only the leaves and see how that turns out. So then I have another one here with like little squares attached to each other in different colors. And another one of these. Just like this one, very similar. But I just colored it different with purple and yellow. And this one looks very similar to the shapes that you see over here. They look like humans to me. Green. And then the orange on the top. I think it looks really good. The lines all coming from the corner. Pull up to the top. Now, this reminds me of a clown or a circus. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just does. just turned out to be this way. If you really want to be correct, technically correct about it, then I should have added something over here. But like I said, to me, art um, is an expression of emotions that you can't put into words and you just express it in a different way. And for me, this is how it came out. So then I have another long strip over here which has multiple colors in it as well. So, um, I started with triangles. Just triangles like this. That's how I started drawing it. And then once I did all of that, all the way till the end, I decided to make another triangle in it. Like that. And then I decided to do, to make, to put another one in it. And then I decided to color them. So, they're like, pink, yellow, pink, pink, yellow, pink, and then on the other side I made little plants with yellow to fill up the white. I really like this one a lot. Maybe I can make a drawing with just that, but different colors as well. It would be so cool, I think. And then we have this one, which is which I actually started out as oval shape, like this. That's what I drew first. From one line to the other. And then I decided to turn it into water drops, kinda. Like, almost like yin and yang-like, except for the oval, the oval version. <laughs> so I made a line like this. So that it seems like water drops. And then I decided to give them different colors. And I decided to put the orange in the back because it matches the orange I used here and the orange I used there and I like colors to return. So yeah, and then I had this ending left which is quite a bit of work, <laughs> just like this one on the bottom because I had to make all these little circles and I decided to color them with a color And then these ones are a lot more bright, the big ones, just very random. So yeah, that was my first drawing. And I put my name in the back. Here it is. It says The Water Whispers, the 1st of December 2012. So that's the drawing I made. And I'm really happy with the way how it turned out. So. 
I posted it on Facebook the day after I made it, the day after it was done. And I got so many positive reactions, I couldn't believe my eyes. <laughs> I even got some people that um, were asking me if I'm selling this. And to be honest with you, I don't know if I'm going to sell them. Maybe I will. But I would like to make a collection first. And, um to make more of these type of drawings because I really need some practice. I really like how this turned out, but it's not like I can it's not like I can draw it from the top of my head yet. I need um something in front of me, like a computer screen so that I can get ideas because I'm not familiar with the style yet. So so yeah, that was my first attempt. And I would like to thank my viewers who suggested me to look into this style because I really enjoyed doing it. And um, it took me six hours to complete this one from beginning to end. So that was my first drawing. And then I made a second one on the 2nd of December, <laughs> hilariously enough. And that is this one. So after I made the first one, I was really motivated to make another one. So the day after, on the 2nd of December, I decided to make this one. And I actually posted some pictures of the different stages of this drawing because I figured that some people might find it interesting of how this, something like this is created. And um, this one has an emotional value to me because when I was about, yeah, when I finished about three quarters of this drawing, I discovered that this is a representation of how I emotionally feel. So I almost got emotional over it <laughs> because all of a sudden I just realized that this is just, every little thing represents emotions. They represent obstacles in your life, things you have to go through, and most of the time they don't make any sense. So this is how everything comes together in my head, and eventually everything just comes together in the middle and everything will be okay. But before you get to that point, that point literally in the middle, there are just so many emotions and so many things that go through your head. I really, um, I really value this one a lot. I really like it a lot. So let me tell you how I made this. First, I started out with making, uh, like drawing these lines on the outside. Because I didn't do that with the previous one, as you can see. This one was just all the way on the side, and I've noticed that that's not very handy because your pencil tends to like fall off the paper like this so it's hard to make it precise so I learned from that and that's the reason why I came up with um, these edges around it like this and after that I just started drawing some random lines like this just dividing the paper into different parts with this as the middle. I started out with bigger pieces, like this wasn't all there, it was just like this line and this line. And then I decided to draw some lines in the middle as like on the go while I was drawing it. So I did not have in mind that this would be black and white in color at first. My plan was to make this entire drawing with different types of blue and different types of green, but it turned out to be something totally different, which just, this just felt right to me. So, um, the first one that I made was this one, the leaves again, and I didn't color the black in the background, it was just open, just white, because I thought I was gonna color 
this is what I started with and this one I just drew circles and then I just drew black around it and I thought it would look nice if it has like a white stripe in between so I made like a white strip and then I made this one I don't even know what that is it's just there <laughs> and then I made this one which I had no idea of what they were but it adds a lot of perspective and depth to it and um, later down the road I realized that these look like different doors in life you get different opportunities, different things that you can do and it depends on, on you really which door you want to enter in your life so this is like, yeah, like all doors and these ones remind me of, um, of records <laughs> But you can see whatever you want to see in it. Um, I definitely did not plan to draw it like this. I just drew it out of, I don't know, just whatever felt right, really. Didn't make any shapes, didn't use anything else other than my pencil and my imagination, really. So then we have this one, the, all the little triangles. Very pointy things that wants to poke at you in your life <laughs> that's how I look at it and sometimes they can be very dark they can hurt and other times you have things that come along in your life that are a lot more light a lot more positive that push you in the right direction and it just keeps on going sometimes it can be good sometimes it can be bad but life is a process not an end Yeah, that's how I look at it. <laughs> and then here you have these little fishy things again. I just find them very fascinating, so I wanted to put that in there as well. And these little thingies. Just nice decoration. And then I have... I made a few that have this type of pattern, which basically I used one point. And it creates like a really nice effect in my opinion. Then I made another one over here. It like, looks like a feather almost. And this one. And I used the blue one from the previous drawing. This one. I used this one as inspiration. For this particular shape so so yeah when I was about halfway I decided I just well no when I was about 75% of finishing this I realized that this was a representation of my emotions that I can't put into words and sometimes my feelings can be really numbed out but the things that I will always feel are sadness and extreme happiness. When my feelings are numbed out, those two never disappear. So that's the reason why I put these in the middle. And they get separated by something that is green, which represents nature for me. Because nature is something that puts me back into my element. I had a whole conversation with it, uh, about it, with my friend Reese. Oh, um, and Tony, ASMR, ASMRer, Tony Pomponi. He also told me how nature really brings you back into your element, and it's something that I know, but something that sometimes I just need to hear it from someone else. So, to basically bring all of these emotions together in nature at least that's how it is for me so that's why that one is in the middle and I decided to make these in color to really let them stand out 
important to enhance the power of these these three important elements. So, yeah. So there are a lot of different patterns which I just randomly came up with. And uh, these ones look like little dogs. <laughs> There's like two black ones, white one, black one, white one, black ones. You have a white one and then two black ones. Obviously you can't see that, but that's how it goes in my head. <laughs> and these ones represent something that's very dear to me, which I'm going to get for you right now to show you. Let me get up real quick. the white dog and then the black figures is the black dog and their magnets almost look like magic <laughs> so yeah I got these for my great great grandma or at least my dad got them for my great great grandma and now I have them and this one is definitely not white anymore it's more like yellowish looks kind of gross this was my inspiration for this part of the drawing. I just figured I would show you. <laughs> um, so yeah, then I have some arrows over here. There are some white arrows on the side. And I just, these lines, I just connected randomly, to be honest. This one is connected to the middle of the arrow. This one is connected to the top, to the bottom. So yeah, not really a logical order, but it just felt right. So some arrows. And these is almost like a piano. Black, white, black, white, black, white. Like a road. I had this like a road in my mind. Most of the time, that's how the walk of life goes. You walk into something, and you have no idea what the outcome will be. So yeah, <laughs> I really like this one for some reason. And then I made these shapes on the side. Which almost look like a fence. Kind of a strange fence, isn't it? But it adds a lot of dynamic and depth to it. And these, I started this one out as a road as well. It was entirely white. And I just made these stripes first. And then I decided to connect them. And it almost looks like, it almost looks like a spine. <laughs> it's funny. With all these stripes that add a lot of dimension to it. Um... So yeah, this looks, this reminds me of uh, the street in the Netherlands. It almost looks like they, they stick out. I see a lot of 3D effect in this. It's actually really cool how that turned out. And uh, these are just some random figures. Just like these. Reminds me of Easter eggs. <laughs> And this almost looks like birth, like an embryo. Maybe that represents pre-birth, who knows, I have no idea. Just some more swirl. And another one of these, but then with bigger ones, just like that one. So there is only one double thing in here, and that is, um, um, well, this shape, basically, just like over there, except for this one has a second half to it as well. And this one is the one that is double in this drawing. It's this one. This one. Um, wait, is that double? I thought I made a second one of this. Where is the second one? Oh, here it is. The second. 
So yeah, I'm really satisfied with the, the way how this turned out. I think it looks really cool. It almost reminds me of, um, of Escher. You, pray, you spell it as uh, E-S-C-H-E-R, Escher. He is a, an artist that I really um, admire. I studied arts in school and I was always, I was pretty good, I was pretty good at it. I just, unfortunately, I didn't keep anything of the art that I used to make. I left everything in the house when my, my, my uh, dad passed away and I haven't made any art in so, so long. Like, I think this is the first time since 2012 that I started drawing again. So, uh, yeah, I've been away from my artistic side for quite some time. But, um, yeah, art is just, for me, an expression of emotions that you can't put in like I said before. So that's why it's so subjective because um, this is my expression of my emotions that I can't really put into words. It's just one big clutter of stuff and eventually it just all goes down the drain. <laughs> just comes down to that one point. And uh, yeah, I was really surprised with how this turned out and I'm capable something like this when I just do whatever feels right, so that was really awesome. So yeah, I hope that on the long term, when my website gets renewed, that I can make nice pictures of these and that I can start like, like a little art gallery section on my website, that would be cool. So for now, this is what I wanted to show you, and this is my little I'm sorry that you didn't see my face in this one again. <laughs> um, I'll see if I can make a face video next time. I don't know what kind of video I will be making yet, but I will be doing a lot of drawing. I already um, saw that a few people on Facebook would really like me to make some drawing videos when I'm drawing these, so maybe I will. Um, maybe in like a little bit smaller project because the previous one took me six hours to complete And this one took me um, about seven to eight hours to complete um, It's a lot more detailed. I put a lot more thought into it So yeah, I hope that you uh, enjoyed my little show-and-tell about my little artwork and I would like to say that I love you guys very much. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me. And um, I hope you'll sleep well. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye, sweetie.